In our daily lives, we all trust in technical systems. You trust your calculator to give you the correct answer to a mathematical problem, just as we trust in our phones to connect us with the right person after having dialed their number. But what does trust actually mean from a psychological perspective? There are a number of different theories when it comes to trust, but one thing they all have in common is that they all understand trust as expectations in regard to the behavior of another entity. If this other entity is an automated system, that is when we speak of trust in automation. But why do we automatize processes at all? The answer is simple, to reduce our own workload. This way Paul here can, thanks to his automatized car keys, save his way back to the car if he forgets to lock the doors. He trusts that, because of automation, the locking mechanism will also work over a certain distance. When talking about this kind of trust, we have to consider different factors it depends upon. Those factors can be divided into disponential, which means cultural and personal characteristics, situational, those are environmental and individual influences, and learned factors, meaning our existing knowledge of the system, its performance and design. The most important influence, however, is whether the system works reliably. With automation, there can be no 100% error-free accuracy, which is why different problems and negative outcomes may appear when trusting in automation. There are three main types of problems. People may change their decisions because they trust the system, even though they should know better based on their own experiences. It may also happen that we put too much trust in the system and forget that errors are actually quite likely to occur. And finally, by handing over more and more tasks to automation, our own knowledge and competencies may decrease. All these problems are caused by too much trust and are therefore called overtrust effects. Too little trust, however, may cause difficulties just as well, especially if it produces new tasks, as the system with its automatized processes needs additional supervision. With this, even though the goal was to reduce our workload, we end up with more effort, a so-called under-trust effect. To sum up, we can see, we trust in automation to reduce our own workload and are influenced by disponential, situational and learned factors, as well as the reliability of the system. These factors determine our measure of trust, causing over and under trust effects and problems.